Dr. Charnel Wolverton and Sihan. I am so excited to introduce to you my 80 card deck of crystals, oils, and decrees. Yes, all these things are frequency. And guess what? You and I are frequency. And when we apply modalities of high frequency, we actually change our frequency. So check out these cards, have frequency in your home, and bring your upgrade today. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Charnel Wolverton Sion. Super excited today and really, really happy to have Robert Tennyson Stevens on with us. Um, you guys probably are very familiar with him, but if you're not, then you are in for a real treat today. Um, if this is your first time to be in on anything that um, that I've had him that we've had him on before, um, then welcome. And if you're uh, if you're a comeback, then you're you know what you're in store for. And there's lots of videos that I have on my uh, YouTube channel with tons of interviews and um, talks about conscious language, some of the testimonies and what have you, so you can get some of the backstory. But just for the sake of maybe some new people, Robert, yes, welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and just for maybe somebody who's new. Um, so <laughs> I always like feel like I'm going to do the movie The Jerk. You know, I was born up uh, anyway, just because that's so funny. All right. So um, I've been on the planet seven, almost 73 years in, a, I guess, uh, less than a month. I'll be 73 years. My adult life, I've been uh, well in the game of consciousness, language, health. Uh, herbology, homeopathy, hydrotherapy, acupressure, body electronics. Uh, I've got systems and systems all about what did we do to create the state? How are we involved in creating the state? And so uh, in 1968, I studied the Hopi language um, my second year in college. And I went, language is way bigger than I thought it was. Not about Hopi, it's about language. So um I wrote a thesis uh, for my independent study. He gave me a C minus, the lowest grade he's ever given anyway, Dr. Bryce Sender, because I could just do quotes out of the study of Benjamin Lee Ward who wrote a book called Language, Thought, and Reality. So long story short, the Hopi language, as an example, didn't have a word for now because they couldn't get out of now to have to use the word now to get back to now. And I'm going, what? I mean, I think in space and time. I, I, you know, so, and they didn't have a way to say the rock is over there. It's like, how can that be? How can, so uh, anyway, my book, Conscious Language, The Logos of Now is my thesis. It only took me a couple of decades to do my thesis, right? Because it was, I was shifting everything in me about, man, our language is cool. So I've been a, let's see, a, a, a secret closet hidden scripture lover. And I came out, um, especially big time recently, and have been even attacked for that uh, from people of a religious whatever. And I can everything I'm about is not religion. No, no, no. For me, I mean, not yours, not mine, whatever. It is about what are the laws? Yes, what are the laws in scripture like quantum physics that lets us know exactly what to do, like decree a thing. And it shall be established unto you. I shared that with thousands of people. And then one day I went, I'm sure I was inspired from my creator, my God. Decree a thing. Don't just pop words out there. Say something so specific. It's a thing. And by your words, you shall be justified, Bob. And by your words, you shall be condemned, Bob. I mean, not. I'm not, you know, I'm saying it for myself. Or what's going on right now with, I call it rice arona. That's my new term for the illusionary thing that's going on in the planet, rice, arona, and everybody can figure that out. Like a man or woman who offendeth not in word, the same is a perfect person and able to bridle the whole body. What? What does that mean? What do I mean? I mean, so if everybody goes, well, I can, I am, I will, I choose, I have a love, a great and joy, I love, I empower, I bless, instead of I can't, I want, I need, I'm afraid, da, 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 da. Maybe we rise above. And so this I, I a lot. So forgive me ahead of time and then jump in anytime. Um, the, when I started studying viruses because of all the material that came out on viral stuff, I started to go, oh, the virus is not alive. Oh, it's got a signal in it, not alive, 
that's looking for an agreement to function in our RNA or RNA DNA or DNA. And so, you know, and we all, I mean, the number of times I've shared or people have shared with me that words, language, programs, DNA, you know, the word becomes flesh. Oh, or my word becomes flesh. However, people, life and death is in the power of the tongue. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. It started big time going, that one thing, a man or woman who offendeth not in word, the same is a perfect person and able to bridle the whole body. And so we have a book out, My, my Word Made Flesh. It's going through a little bit of adjustment right now in that there's been some challenges with, and I get it. I'll just say that, you know, okay. And we put it out on a particular platform, which I love, and I'll leave it at that for the, the frequency changers. And I, I, with a little bit of tweak, everybody will be able to get this book and rock and roll with it. And you know, Dr. Charnel, that you had done one way back, the story that you, you probably shared with everybody. And it, I still learned a lot from it. I still use it all the time. You had done everything healthfully for like four months, I believe is what you said. In, in adjusting your physical terrain, all the stuff to help you get over, so to speak, the state you were in, the metabolic state. And when I had, you were in class and I saw these little four marks that could have been, I don't want to be here anymore. And you tell the story and you can do any level of that you choose. But the point is you had done the terrain perfectly. At that point, you just hadn't reversed the curse and claim, this is where decrees come in, claim what you choose. So most modalities in allopathic are trying to get rid of what's wrong, treating the problem. Almost everything, including me, have been out there of, you know, get rid of the pain. I'm even me, I even after wrote the book. So the minute we got done with your interaction, I love when you tell the story because I, you didn't do any of that with me. But when you tell the story, I am rolling, I'm holding my gut, I'm doing all this stuff because if you knew what I'm doing right now to heal my body, but you didn't do any of that. You're just being present, even though there was stuff going on. And I walk over and I simply say, just say, I can and I am. And you go, whatever, like words are going to make a difference. Uh, gag me with a spoon, whatever. And say, say it again. And you're exact, you weren't doing that, but you did it like I can and I am, whatever. And you've been trained. Got it? Well, I mean, I've been trained and I have to use this for myself. And then third time, maybe fourth time, put your me into it, Charnel. And maybe you said it, I can and I am. You said it again, said it again, said it again. You went and you cast out all that stuff you were working on because you walked new. That's what we can do right now. And it's time for everybody to have this that chooses it. Period. Yes. And to uh, for my version, um, when you were presenting this to me um in my mind i'm thinking yeah like i'm gonna say some words and things are just gonna work out but i also felt the same way about essential oils too when when i first um was told about it with dr lucky you know he was saying you know just uh, i need you to get this because it'll help with the limbic system you know anyway he said smell some oils and i was like yeah i'm gonna smell oils and like my life is gonna change really you know but when i learned the science of both of these things um together and separate which you know that's why i love your book um my word made flush even though it's going to be tweaked um because it does combine those things and it really does give you a map on how to do it but um once I looked into the science of both of these things, the power of words and how it affects the physical body, but also how essential oils affect the physical body on a cellular level um, and in the quantum field. Then I was like, oh, my science brain can get that because before it just seemed like woo woo to me, um, even though it's very scientific, uh, I just didn't have the template for the science yet. So it just seemed a bit weird but um so yeah when you first were like say i can and i am i'm thinking whatever you know but um but when i really you said to me say it like you mean it and put your me into it and when i embodied literally um with my voice and then my body and then my cells and and oftentimes i've talked to you about other things and you've said i want to hear your cells let your cells say it and that's interesting because the cells have a signature code. So if the code 
is programmed to a certain word phrase uh, belief, then you're going to get one result. But when we reprogram, deprogram, whatever, all the things deprogram and reprogram, we're upgrading the cells to a different code, which sends out a different radiation and also magnetizes a match back and then our patterns change. And so um, without being disgusting, um, yes, I, when you said that, I, I felt discomfort in my body within minutes. And yes, I did four months of the terrain and, but I felt discomfort and, um, but for the good and took myself to the bathroom and everything had come out like, and I don't mean going to the bathroom. I mean, I've passed, um, all of the tumors and I'm like, that was pretty freaking fast. That was pretty instant. I mean, who doesn't like instant healing, but, um, so your thoughts on that. Oh, oh, and I will say I had uh, a magnifying glass in my pocket because before, when you looked at my eye, you had detected those four, those four spots. And now I don't know why in my mind, intuition was like, look at your eye now. Mm -hmm. And so I, I get up in the mirror and I'm looking with the magnifying glass in my ear. And I notice every one of those spots instantly changed to what looked like a hook. And so I came out, I ran out, I'm very emotional. Um, my, my, my logic science brain was literally like, no, that can't be, you know, I was literally like, I, I wanted proof. I'm, I still wanted proof. Like, even though I saw, I was trying to talk myself out of what I was looking at because it was so crazy. But when I got home, I actually had four doctors test me and there was no sign of anything like that. It was all divine health. And I was like, okay, my God, this is, but yeah, you, I came back to you and I said, look at my eye, Bob, <laughs> look at what, what is this? So you want to talk about that? Yeah. So the, <clears throat> there usually is an indicating line, like the white of the eye is others, our, our self pushed out. And then the, I believe there are four blue spots that had these little blood vessels coming in. And then what you said is, look, look, look. And so every one of them had a healing. I got to get my finger so I can see it. A healing hook or mm -hmm. called a shepherd's staff. So the stress coming in and is now let go healing. And so what you I mean, I'm saying from start to finish. Sure. No, just say I can and I am. And then mean it. Boom, 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 maybe five minutes. And then to a trip to the bathroom, five minutes, come back. This is what's available for everyone right now. I have thousands and thousands of these examples on my own as well. I'll show that in a minute. And what I'm sharing is, is that the, the uh, let the weak man, one of the laws I use from scripture, let the weak man say I am strong. So if cellular de degeneration is I've got to with a feeling I can't, Got it. And usually I can't serve. I've got to, but I can't. I got to, but I can't. I can't. Cancel, 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 cancel. Mm -hmm. that, that can be a cell that's breaking down, a compulsive breakdown. So when you had already, the terrain thing is really important. The modalities, it's it's not exactly modality specific. It, God can work through anything. Mm -hmm. So according to our belief. So when you, you know, reverse that, I can't, it was so simple. I now I'd make that decree like 55 options longer, but you would, it got, it was just one of those. My intuition said, this, she's done enough. I don't even say that. I just said, I can and I am. And you went, I, I can and I am, whatever. And then that's the, um, we'll talk about oils in a minute. The doubt self, like, yeah, thanks for sharing with another finger, whatever. And then uh, I can and I am, I can and I'm put your me into it, feel the meaning. And you got that because you've been around it long enough, doing it, sharing it. And you put it in the deal and your body that the I it, you didn't heal the disease, you restored your health. Mm -hmm. You walked into I can and I am the name. One of the names of God is I am that I am. And I can do all things through for me, Christ who strengthens me. You use two of the major laws that are a home run on every, every, everything, everything. So I'm going to share this one. I may have shared it with you before. I'm sharing about my word, main flesh. I've written the book with Vaughn. I, you know, I've got, let's say, 90% of the laws in there. We translate all the Young Living stuff into the book. It's so perfect, so beautiful, such an education for me to get 
Vaughn's deep dive with Gary and so many. Anyway, so I'm doing a deep dive on the book. These are available now. And all of a sudden, I realized the last year and a half back then, about a year and something ago, I had sold my bed, a uh, big log bed. And because I had pain in my shoulder from an injury that happened 25 years ago. And my shoulder was at range of motion stuff, whatever. Um, I, literally, my shoulder was minimum pain level 6 to 10, especially at night, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10. So I was sitting in a recliner. That was the only way I could get any level of comfort. And I would go through dip, four different tight, like deep relief on and on and phases and finally CBD and all the other stuff to get any kind of relief. So I'm sitting there sharing with live and I went to myself out loud, dude, <laughs> talking to self, dude. You're using the oils, like you're telling everybody, allopathically. You're using the oil to get rid of pain. So I sat there for a minute going, shoulder, left side, mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Restore my mother's blessing from my mom's lineage. So first of all, that was outside my box. <clears throat> Not possible to my rational mind. Just like when you went, words are going to do that. And I went, wait a minute. And so I just went, oh, what are my blessings that I'm going to restore, not only through my divine mother, so to speak, and my, my lineage, that my inheritance, so to speak, from my creator and forgiving my mom, triple Taurus 186 IQ, fifth and a half of whiskey every day, and an attack dog, never got tired, to just even contemplating what I'm receiving into my life and also my my two daughters and my two granddaughters, mm -hmm. what kind of blessings this is for them. I'm going to cry. So cool. Well, I choose to make this easy. Within five minutes, comfort. Five minutes, comfort. Because I went, what does this turn into? It's So far, it's been this. I mean, I have a range of motion that is a little bit, and do you get, I mean, anybody, you mean to say, if I move, stop trying to get rid of something and restore, the whole book is about restoring something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I didn't even know that I didn't believe it was possible to restore blessings to me. This is the front of my shoulder. This should be self about my feminine side. If it was back here, it'd be others, but it was definitely front stuff. And the minute I got, all right, what, just what is being returned to me now that ease. In other words, the pain signal in my body was asking me, you get to give up this limited belief system and let the blessings in. 100% of the signals in our body are knocking on our door to change something, to let something in. So anyway, so for me, I'm going, God, I'm maybe the application of this book for me is even more important than the sharing of the book. So I've got so many miracles on it myself. So here it well, and you're literally living it out. You're embodying this shift uh, just as I have. And, yes. um, and anyone who jumps in, I mean, how exciting would it be if people had this modality and used it before anything could happen? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like just to get this to be a, a practice on a regular for not just ourselves, but our kids. And so um, going back to doing it for the babies, um, I, I'll tell you that on a science level, because again, I'm geeky about that stuff and I love it, but you know, we carry our kids uh, as a female, especially we carry the kids um, in us. Like if, if, if I was passed and they did an autopsy on me, they would not only connect my body to every baby, every miscarriage, female, male that I ever carried. Um, but also every partner that I've ever had is still in the body and that can be found. And actually in Montana and other places, like you can go to labs and, to, and see if you have the other person and you think someone's cheating on you, you can actually find out who that person is by getting them tested and finding that in the body. So uh, I don't know how big that is, but I'm just saying, so on a cellular level, when we're doing the work and it feels hard, it's because we are doing it for so many, everything that's in us. Plus we're all one. So there's that collective energy. There is no them, but even on a physical level, everything that we do in us will instantly 
ignite our children um, to the cellular level. So any curses or generational or weird epigenetics of, of cells that could be there, whether it's dis-ease or poverty or whatever, these, these decrees can shift that within us, which shifts it in the kids instantly. And I, and you've seen it over and over again. You've seen where we've been in classes and we've done the work and then we get the phone calls from so-and-so who doesn't even know we're in a class and it's the daughter or the son or the husband that are calling going, oh my God, this, or oh my God, that. And things are happening quantumly in different places. Do you have any examples of that? Well, I've just do my own. So this is before I knew this is possible. I've been at this my adult life. So as I start moving up scale, doing everything I'm doing, my, my dad, Native American, uh, Heinz, European, uh, he had black hair, black, brown eyes. My sister, dark brown hair, black, brown eyes. I'm after my mom, Scandinavian, Swedish, Norwegian, um, actually Norwegian, Swedish, we found out. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I'm moving. I always have blue eyes, but, but stronger. Da, da, da. My, my sister was two and a half years, my senior. So the same year, I'm going to say when I was 26 is when it happened. My sister and my dad both that year had to get their driver's license changed to blue eyes. So I my, and nobody told me that was possible. How is that? I just had to say, you know, like no to self, something is going on. And as I'm moving up scale, my dad had to go. He said, look at my eyes. They're blue. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you, dad, I have no clue. And <laughs> same with my sister. Um, I mean, in other words, everyone, if there's a challenge, it's because so many people involved get with it, mm -hmm. stay with it. So, and, and then, you know, I've got thousands, literally thousands and thousands of, you know, the, you jump in and do something and then some miracle happens in your lineage or your circle of influence. Yes. So for me, it, you know, scripturally, it says the, the shift is going to happen in the twinkling of an eye, like a thief in the night. I, I say, let's get our eyes twinkling. I actually have pictures of my eye. I don't know if you could see the before and after. Yeah. This, this is me before this dark, dark one. And this is me overdoing some of the work and time where you could see that it's getting lighter. Of course, yep. you know, I know that you know what those stress lines mean. And I know what those stress lines mean. So we're working on it. Right. But look how dark that first eye. Whoa. First eye is compared to the light. Now yep. I'm, I'm not blue yet. You know, maybe I'll never be blue. But underneath there, it is blue, dear. I mean, all I've just now, all, everybody, all, every child is born, they say, and my experience is true, have blue eyes or steel blue eyes. And then the, the DNA develops. So if somebody has brown, it's not right or wrong. If they have blue, green, hazel, whatever it is. But eventually underneath all that is blue. And maybe underneath all that is violet, by the way. That when we look at the pupil, it looks like it's black. It's actually purple. It's like printer's ink, really, really dark purple. So not, you know, somebody goes, well, I have brown eyes. Therefore, no, you just are, you pick that. So I can't compare a blue eye with a brown eye. What I can share is if somebody's moving up scale, their eye will get lighter. The fibers will get straighter. Usually the pupil will get smaller. Mm -hmm. So that what I love is we can know at any moment in time with what we have on board now, what's going on, not in the modality of disease. The word disease means unease. So no matter what I'm doing, if I'm not adjusting the cause, I'm in error. Mm -hmm. So only ease replaces unease. I recommend everyone stop using the word disease. Oh, I have a disease. No, you have unease. And therefore only whatever your modality, make sure it brings you ease, adjust the cause instead of work on the symptom. So yeah. and when the eye will show it and the, bo the body language is the current conversation of the miracles awaiting agreement. What? So when we pray, I'm going to give this one because it's so big for all of our people. So scripture, uh, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open. So for me, that means the moment I ask, God delivered it. Seek, same thing. Only it's the, the blessing, like, and not please God give me, it's please and thank you. When you pray, ask, call, believing, be alive in, not thinking, be alive in having received. So if I go, thank you, God, for my opulent life, and don't try to keep getting opulent life, say, I thank you for it. Now it's delivered. It's delivered in the unseen or invisible world. Mm -hmm. 
And my job is to go, thank you. And this is where imagination activation in my word made flesh comes on. Now that I'm abundant, now that I'm divinely supplied, now that I, whatever, and I walk new. I walk by faith, not by sight. So in this book, there's seven phases of this thing. And, you know, I can go over them or whatever. But the point is this, this particular imagination activation and outcome facilitation, everyone, if you can go, oh, okay. All, and somebody's burdened. They're burdened because the blessing was delivered. They didn't agree with it. The eye indicates or our body language issues indicate usually blessed like my shoulder. I was in pain because I didn't even believe in the, even, didn't even know. I didn't even know that my universe, my divine, whatever that is, my, I, everybody has to use their own, I use mine. I mean, my girls, my, my daughters and my granddaughters and me and my world, my creative self, we're opening up to greater and greater blessings that my little self is going, not, not going to happen. No, didn't get it from mom. No, nope, not. And finally pain came to the point and I wrestled with it, gave up my bed, sat in pain all night long. And finally, again, I went, Oh, I restore my, I restore my blessing. Like I can. And I am, I didn't even go build that out yet. I just contemplated it ease in my shoulder for a year now. I just, you know, I may notice a little stiffness or whatever, every month. I mean, I'm asking everybody to go, what if this is true? And it is scripturally true. Yes. And, you know, um, some people don't know. We know that there was a thing that came out and uh, maybe nobody knows about it. So I don't want to give it too much. But what do you say to somebody who, first of all, they said that there's a seance in this book, which is not true at all. And there's a lot of discrediting accusations. Well, I, didn't read, I didn't read any of it because I'm divinely inspired in this. So I yeah. just the purpose of the, and no judgment to anybody, I, I, those that go against something are missing the point. All just tell me your truth. I'm telling yeah. you my truth. You can flush it or not. And if you go, this is bad, or this is this, or this is that. No. All right. Just, just stick with your truth. Yes. And, and there, uh, there's a statement, you know, prove all things and hold fast to that, which is good. And, and the whole book is built by it. So I'm going to read all that. They'll get where I'm coming from anyway. And there, the statement is not scriptural. And I, I could look up where it came from. I didn't learn it this particular way. But it says contempt prior to complete investigation will enslave a person to ignorance. And whoa, I did, whoa, 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 whoa. Say that slow and loud. All right. So contempt prior to complete investigation will enslave a person to ignorance. And in my religious upbringing, everything that's wrong. This is right. That's wrong. This is right. That's wrong. This is right. I didn't explore where, you know, I, I'm just, I couldn't even say I am because in the Eastern tradition, that would be full of ego. Well, I am that I am. I can say that now anyway. So, so for me, I'm simply saying, um, uh, my word made flesh comes from the word made flesh. And many people went, oh, you can't say that. Well, decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Well, what does that mean? By your words, you shall be justified and by your words, you shall be condemned. That means what I say I get. Uh, again, a man or woman who offendeth not in word. Let's all really study that. Let's study that. What does it mean to not use the Lord's name in vain? Well, how, I can't. It's using I am with a can't. I want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I have challenged every person in the religious concept. Does God want you to? Oh, yes, they want me. God wants me. And I'm going, oh, forgive me for my little egoic challenge of you. But the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh, you mean? I mean, I'd really have everybody wake up to let's stop wanting this. This war seeming cancer clear that's going on is a bunch of humans wanting. And I'm asking, let's all move from I into from I want to I choose. Or like, let the weak man say, I am strong. And again, think of if everyone replaced I want with I have, or I love, or I create, or I, I am. Have. Yeah, I am that I am. And it ain't nothing else. I mean, it's not quite scriptural on that level. But so, I mean, for me, the, the statements that came out, I've been at this for 50 plus years. And so the reason I was a closet scripture person is people would go, their religion would be a uh, look, religion is used to divide, not yours or mine. Just that's the point. No, you're that sect and we're this sect. You're wrong. And I mean, 
I just, I don't want, I'd rather find love. Well, the greatest of these is love. So any, like for me, if my creator, if for me, if Jesus Christ came, I mean, where would he go? <laughs> I mean, do you think he'd go sit? I mean, I'm not make anybody wrong. I mean, even me, I, I would rather find out, well, he would go to where he's required. And so if I can help my world and me, like my shoulder or like you, do all the work and then go, and what does this turn into? And really, instead of getting rid of something, restore something, replace, revise, recede, renounce, rename. Wow, it's so much cleaner. And so body language comes in and gives the signal like a static state is not moving, like pain in knee, you know, as we partnership forgiveness, something like that. So if someone, oh, I got pain in my right knee, let's say cancer clear, but the, the and so I ask, well, have you had an issue with partnership or forgiving a male figure, work rational, whatever? And they go, oh, yeah. And then pretty soon their body will start to, I restore my blessings and I give myself permission to make a new choice and I forget about, it. no, I communicate what I love and I can and will, I can and will, I can and will. And I, and I can translate them. To, those are the blessings. There's the unfolding, the blessings that require agreement. Just like you you know, the blue spots, I got that outside. Healing hooks came immediately by two words. I can, or whatever, two statements. I can and I am. And the rationalized going, weirdo. <laughs> well, that's what I did with me. I'm reading the book and I'm going, dude, you're going to have to apply this. You're live. You're talking to a bunch of people. I, uh, uh, are you using um, deep relief to restore something? No, man. I'm choosing to just sleep for five minutes. How about pan away? How about you know, on and on, right? And I was like, my I did, I believe what you did. Like, oh. <laughs> And what I'm going to share with everybody, this is every one of us has, if, if the blessing lands, we have to be made new. What? We have to be made new. What? We have to be. And my mind goes, because uh, well, it's, it's not doable, reasonable. It's by grace. Yes. So again, we're either under law, cause and effect, or we're under grace. And so I'm personally going, I'll be having grace, please. Uh, grace. <laughs> Me too, and, please. Yep, the scripture says, you'll know my grace because it's without effort. So unease. Ease, ease and grace are the same thing. Yes. So when if I do, I can and I am, or I, I restore my blessings. And I got, you know, a million more of these. But I'd rather do them live instead of tell 500 stories. I'd rather, this is so real. It just, you've seen it. It works every time if somebody can play the game. And so for me, the, and I believe for us, because I know we're on the same page, this disease consciousness it's it's time for us to, no matter what the modality, I, in the past I didn't believe that, I would say it, but I'd go, no, my way is the right way. I've seen God work through every way or no way. God, I'm just seeing miracles happen, not based on rational and doable and right. My creator is beyond right. And so I believe that eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge or thinking, knowledge, thinking of right and wrong, good and evil is the fall from grace. So right now, I believe our creator is raising us up to enter or agree with grace again. And only love is big enough to do that. Not right and wrong. Only love. Yes, only love. And and going back to the topic of resistance, um, you were very kind to explain and teach to me um, the power of, you know, the, the back lash i should say about resistance because your statement to me was whatever you resist you get more of i don't know if you made that up or if you just got it somewhere but uh and you gave the example um everybody don't think about pink elephants and of course everyone's going to think about pink elephants because probably everyone even now who's, who's listening is thinking about pink elephants because that's how we were wired is just to whatever even if you state the thing you don't want then that is the thing that comes into the field 
which um, radiates and magnetizes back something to you. So if we only voice our choice, again, your words, these are some of the things that I've learned from you, is not to focus on anything that, it, you know, only, only focus on what we choose, only focus. Well, let me jump in real quick. I can say no to this. And yes, scripture, resist not evil. Why? If we resist it, we imprint it. It says, resist the adversary and he will flee from thee. So for me, I can say to something, no, but then make sure I, like what I say is leave on the screen what you choose of consciousness, what you choose to have resonate forever. That's right. So imagine, <laughs> pink elephants over here. Um, <laughs> um, imagine, imagine, you know, if I say, well, I'm cancer clear, but I'm not feeling well today. That's on my screen. So if mm -hmm. I say, I'm, I'm not feeling well, I choose health. Yes. Today. Now I'm moving. That's what I keep on the screen. So if the whole idea of like when all these people that are the cancer culture, cancel culture, interesting. They're going against, which means they're attempting to kill others. Mm -hmm. So if everyone would simply state their truth of what they choose, what they see, what their vision is, there's so much more power in that instead of you're wrong or you're bad or we got no. So anyone that came against whatever's going on based on whatever, mm -hmm. religion or mm, their own agenda, whatever, that happens by the human nature. But I'm suggesting everyone just, if you, this is not your cup of tea, I get it. I mean, I, I, my cup of tea is whatever I choose. But what, what, yeah, if everybody can go instead of like getting rid of pain or getting rid of disease or getting rid of this, restore. So for me, 100% in the book, My Word Made Flesh, is about well, here's the question of what's going on, not the disease stuff. Just here's what I do. You have this going on? Have you resented? Do you have hate? Have, have you been avoiding whatever? The question, and then here's the decrees that reverse the curse into the restored state. So. Yeah. And let's not forget, guys, those of you who do follow scripture, it does say greater things than these. So what does that mean? And who said that? Jesus said that. Jesus did a lot of stuff. I mean, stuff that wasn't even recorded, that couldn't be recorded because there's too many things. But, and also, we are supposed to be in his image or in, you know, you know, following him, right? Um, and so if, if he is saying that we're going to do greater things than he ever did on the planet, yeah. Then that means talking like him, thinking like him, seeing, you know, doing the things that he did and greater. That's a lot of room for possibilities and miracles on a regular yeah. and uh, above and beyond anything that, you know, e even our mind can think of, it says. So that is one thing to bring up. Um, I also want to say this just on a side note. Gary actually comes to me in dreams on a regular and the timing of some of this is interesting because he actually came on the first, no, I'm sorry, the 3rd of February and uh, in a dream and basically said um, that he, that we don't beat to the same drum that everyone beats to, that we're different and that, that we were still all connected that um, let's see, what did he say? Um, he said that sometimes we have to take the difficult path to make progress. And then he said, maybe we could take the easy road, but what would that do? And then he said, sometimes we have to face things. That's life. And then he also said, keep going, even if it feels like something's pushing against you. Interesting. Um, because we radiate, so who cares whatever anything or anybody says? Like if we just focus on us, what you focus on, you make room for. So that's what that's the the thing. And then he also said, meanwhile, I'll be doing what I'm doing. So I know that he's still working out there. I had to get up and like write all this down because it was so profound. But this happened like right before all this stuff happened, and I. I mean, this is something that I required and, you know, we had a really good relationship as you know, and um, you know, and I know you guys had a good relationship. So this is um, to me, this is important. And instead of, you know, I, I even see this with like trolling and social media kind of stuff. It's like yeah. people will go on another page and like want to fight instead of, you know what, instead of going out and trying to start all kinds of stuff, 
just radiate whatever your truth is on your page and be happy with, you know, your focus and your mission. And let's just love everyone where they are. And there's a million ways to cancel that, but there is everyone. There's different paths. I'm going to share a little about oils, which I believe is what I'm, I'm going to, I'm sticking in until people get it. And um, this is on page 137, 138. We've got some beautiful little characters in it, but I'm going to, you know, uh, Marion Jager, my mentor, looked like a female Merlin. I'm um, 27 <laughs> years old when I met her. She healed my Irish setter by just petting him three, di three times from his head. He was a 98 pound Irish setter. He had uh, three different surgeries. It was in an invalid for life. She petted him from the tip of his head, the little bump on his head, to his tail three times, and he was completely healed. Ran around, wasn't wounded at all. I'm going, excuse me, could I start it with you anyway? And I mean, she was you know, better than any Merlin I've ever seen in any show. Oh, oh, this voice, long nose. Anyway, she would say that essential oil is the essence of the marriage of the sun and the, of the earth and the sun through photosynthesis. The human body is made up of many bodies, not just physical. Thought forms attach to different parts of the body. That's important. That is important. Yeah. I mean, mm. Um, oils protect from all kinds of friction, mechanical, mental, physical, emotional, on and on. You can read all this, but I'm going to go to number 22. I wonder why it's such an important number. This is just the way it laid out. Essential oils, according to Marion Jaeger, are anesthetizers to the intellect where doubt can live, which can be a barrier to belief. What? Now, we know olfactory has no filter. Cranial nerve has no filter. So mm -hmm. why is there no filter? I, I make up that if there's a fire, we smell it. Nothing in us is going to block that. So when the, we use the oils, all of them, when we use the oil and we're giving the decree, they it's like a supercharged, clear path for our decree to happen. So what I'm suggesting everyone is get the list of the singles, blends, and oil-infused supplements if you're using oil-infused supplements, I recommend you go back over and find some of the primary oils in it and you smell them as well because the smell is, the olfactory is the one that clears the deck, no filter, and carries the frequency of the decree into manifestation. And so if everybody, go study it. Go study, you know, the cranial the, the smell, olfactory. And go, how many have smelled an oil and change your state? Well, imagine adding, instead of going, to the oils, let's say, well, I hope this oil heals me. Again, like what I was doing with my shoulder. Then now if I use any of the oils I was using before, I'm going, I'm restoring, you get, I'm not getting rid of pain. That already left. I'm restoring my blessings. So every oil isn't like the, one of the challenges for compliance, for whether you know, you've been involved in herbology and health for a long, my adult life. So I knew that certain certain things you could say and certain things you couldn't say. And now I know I don't need to even worry about that because like the essential oil is not antifungal, antiviral, anti tumor It's not anti-anything. Yes. God is not anti-anything. Nature, we may read it out that way, but let's turn and go, it's restoring something. Yes. And that's if you can just get that, then first of all, compliant issues are over. All right. So what's returned? We start to live our spiritual life. We start to uh, uh, to appreciate whatever is wonderful, beautiful, glorious, all the other stuff. We focus on that. So, you know, again, let the weak man say I am strong. That is the totality of the law, simply put, of reversal. Decree a thing. And that means decree it until it manifests as a physical manifestation. Well, and we know that oils have frequency. Our, we are frequency. Our body is frequency, but also our words carry frequency. They're little electric packages that are going in. So if we tune in to, you know, if, if we are where we are, but then we add frequency physically and it goes into the cellular level, which it does if you're using the, the products that we use um, and it goes past the brain barrier, then that is a little support push combined with speaking the frequency of decrees, whatever those things are. And this is what changes things. This is what moves things. This is what not only moves out through the body, but also changes the code into the field to radiate and magnetize back. So someone was asking, does this change and reprogram, you know, things? Uh, yeah, that's 100% what we're saying. Uh, it goes past the limbic system. 
which is the library that holds and places any kind of trauma-based issues that have happened over you or grandma, grandpa, all the way back that's encoded in your signature DNA. And so when you smell these things and then, you know, it does help if you, if you have as many anchors as possible that can work with it, belief system, words, essential oils, you know, what you're talking about, what you're feeling, all those things in combined give anchors to the physical and the mental and the quantum. And then this is what brings the, the package. It's really, you know, working with everything together is what really, really does it. And so, yeah, it, it bypasses the, the whole limbic system. I mean, the, the olfactory system goes straight to the limbic system and basically says, hey, you know what? Anything that's like not God, can we just dump this now and we're going to move this out because this is the wrong code. We need to line up with Christ, Christ consciousness, love consciousness. This is what we are. This is what we're born to do. We're born to love. We're born to be love and we're born to express love and to talk about love and to and just live the energy and embody of you know all of love who is God. And that's, that's what I'm here for. And that's what you're here for. And oils and nature, they have perfect code. They, they are, there's nothing wrong. There's, it's only perfect. It's just perfection. And there's so much code in it. So when we use this in a, in, in our practice, this is only going to help support everything. Well, if I'm using anything to heal something without changing my consciousness, do you see how I'm relying, which means it's telling the a fib again, I'm relying on this thing to heal me. So I remember my herbalist would teach me if a man is low in faith, feed him herbs. And so I thought, oh, okay, faith heals. No, no, faith does not heal. How do I know that? Faith, it says scripturally, without works, without action is death. Wow. What? I mean, these are all like, I didn't get all these quick. Well, when I got them or they got me, I really believe it. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, like, dang, whatever. So faith, that means I've got it. Without action, without works is death. How many have ever had faith and didn't act? So now imagine using your health protocol, claiming uh, now that I'm healed, now that I'm happy, now that I'm secure, now that I'm abundant, now that I'm supplied, now that I'm strong. Well, again, so whatever the modality, the to me, if I'm using oils without, uh, and I believe decrees are senior over everything else because that's the word. So why are the oils? Let's talk about that. And especially thank you, Gary Young, for doing such a great job. I mean, I can't even say that because I believe it's divine. So and still, thank you, Gary. So now imagine taking this pristine state that he had the ability to make sure we got and adding, and again, maybe ask a question or not, but just do the decrees with it. We are agreeing with the state. What I say is we're either anointed or annoying. <laughs> well, I I know firsthand, I can tell you this too about Gary, is I have actually witnessed on the farm, on the Melissa farm, which is one of the more expensive, amazing oils. And I worked several, I've been to several of his farms. I've been to 44 countries, mostly with him and traveled and seen what he does. And one time we were in the Melissa farm and there was an argument between those working on the farm. Um, they were uh, they weren't just stealing, but they were picking. And there's a process to that. But anyway, I don't remember what the argument was. But do you know that Gary completely said this whole thing that you know all of this that you've done today, we have to throw it in the garbage yeah. because now it contains the energy of the fight and the words and all of that. And I'm not putting this in my bottle. And it was thousands of dollars that he was just like, throw it out because, you know, I don't know, maybe you could have cleared it. I don't, I, I really choose to know, but in his, this is the excellence that he understand that he worked with. And this is the excellence that uh, an understanding that he had with the power of words, even over plants. And we know like you can look up Baxter, um, B A X uh, B back as in B A C K S T E R and all of his research on plants and the power of speaking over plants, right? So these oils, this is the blood of the plant. So if plants have this um, a, a live capability, and then you mix it with words, and then there's a response, then what more is this going to do in your physical body, um, within your cells, and within your your organs, within everything, which also, again, I'm going to say it, 
sends out a radiation into the field because your signature code changes. That code goes into the field, it radiates, but also magnetizes back. So you only get what you are. This is so important. And then add the decrees to claim. Yes, because that's, that's also code. Yeah. And, and this is, um, the combination is like a double punch. Um, really, it's a three chord combination because it's the belief. So with belief, it's more about feeling, right? Feeling trumps um, any thoughts, by the way. It's, it's way more powerful, thousands of times more powerful. So it's what you're feeling, what you're talking about, what you're thinking about, and then any combination of essential oils, which there are some that work more powerfully for certain things, et cetera, just like there's more um, specific decrees that work with different things. And so I don't know if you want to go into that. Well, I'm going to do one thing right now just because I'm prompted. So have I, I share with you about how to smell oils in a new way? <laughs> I don't know. I choose right. to know. So, so take the oil that you just got and tell me what it is. It doesn't matter what it is, but tell me. This is harmony. I'll put it, put a little on, you know, on the tips of your fingers, you know, rub it in. So it's got your frequency to it. So it's working with your chemistry. And then, you know, it's, you can use one hand if it's on both, both two. But now what I'm going to have, good job. Now smell it with one nostril. One nostril. Okay. And smell it with one nostril. And then cl close the other nostril and smell it with the other nostril until you get the smell exactly the same in both nostrils. Now we're what we're doing is harmonizing your hemispheres, and that usually takes a little bit of time. So, is it different? Was it when you first started? Was it different? Yeah, yeah. It, until it harmonizes. This is so important. Harmonize, right? I literally <laughs> harmonize. It's harmony. <laughs> the harmony. So, did, is it the same now? Yes. Right now, what I'm going to have you do, as much as I can show you, is. Uh, in the front, the, toward the front of your nose, you're going to open both nostrils and okay. smell it. Just you're going to open just a little, and <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. No, just open up a little bit, like this, just a little, and notice where it goes. Go ahead, okay. smell it now. Okay, hold on. Just open up a little. Are you bit. guys doing this at home? Am I the only one? I hope you guys are doing this at home, watching. Everyone do it, so you can be weird. No, where did it go? Was My it different? Lungs. Yeah. So I was sometimes it goes straight to up here, third eye, whatever. So in other words, whatever you need, it carries it bigger and stronger. And there, I'm sure there's micro meridians and all that. But when I did that, I said, oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, so I've shared it with many, many people. And and some people, they they got the third eye thing for me. And then I, I think it was Caraway. And if anybody's read in our book on Caraway, <laughs> hello. It's phenomenal. It's like does 85,000 things. All right. So when I did caraway, it went right into my, my organs and glands and body. So I went, oh, okay. It's not just up. It's wherever it needs to go. Yeah. So can you imagine one hemisphere of that, that back and forth and back and forth? Sometimes it takes a bit. And I'm wondering, well, why? Because of they bring, again, of course you had harmony, but to harmonize the hemispheres and then opening it up. And it's like supercharging. Imagine now with that completely let's say new receptor going on then doing the decrees yes yeah. yes well for you guys who are watching that are, are, i see several comments here about the book you can go to um if you want more information of when it's going to be switched up and changed and ready um go to just look here on the screen you can see the email to contact him for that and or any classes or whatever related um, ideas about this, um, just definitely, um, hone into that. Uh, if you're interested in actually getting on board with essential oils, I'm going to put my link in here too, where that's something that you might be interested in for you and your family and your generations. Um, I also have, you guys can grab this too, which is literally life-changing conscious language, really important. Um, this was how I started, but most of this is actually in this. So, I mean, you know, if you have this, you're pretty, you're pretty good to go. And I love that you actually combined the body language book and yeah. there. I mean, this book is packed with stuff. So, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, and how can we find you? Uh, Mastery Systems. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Yes. What final words would you say to everybody going through whatever we're going through and 
um, and all of this in this middle in the middle of especially waking up this morning to the news. I don't know if everybody watched yeah. it. Um, I, I saw your post and I shared it. But what what would you say? Just any any final words? What you put your attention upon that ye become. So everyone, let's keep our attention on global peace. Let's keep our attention on the leaders who are leading from greed or limitation are replaced by the heart of each nation. That, yeah. and, and right now, I, and I am this right now. I mean, just really. You know what? Like, I'm just going to encourage everybody right now to come into complete agreement. Can you say that again? And I want everyone to like maybe get and get just get centered for a minute before he says this. Because as a group, we can collectively do some really cool things right now. And um, I'm also going to put Mastery Systems up here. Let's see, MasterySystems.com. There it is right there. Yeah, we go. I love uh, our team. Yes, you have a great team. I love everybody on your team. But yes, um, so if everyone could just get in a kind of a centered state, Bob, just lead us into some sort of decrees yep. um, regarding this. So, and I'm going to preface it by the heart of humanity and the heart within each nation is coming online. So I'm suggesting that we simply agree by saying, I am the heart in the humanity of each nation, taking dominion with love and completely replacing and upgrading and restoring the God governments of the people, by the people, and for the people of each nation, directed by and in service to each person's creator in love. And so for me, as I am the resurrection and the life of divine love on our planet, I am the resurrection and the life of the heart of each human or of each nation. I am the divine servant leading each nation. Yes. And then, and by, and, you know, and divine justice. I yeah. am divine justice right now delivered to Russia. And that's a powerful statement, which means that if need be, somebody's obliterated off the planet or smacked with a spiritual two by four, or, you know, they get a cayenne enema for a year. I choose to know what it's going to be, but or the whole we don't know or or, or, or or anyone in the u.s like whoever's involved with this any kind of negative yeah. yep yep to wherever it needs to land so let us bring the heart of each nation online by and that and then i have to do it for me i am the heart i live by love and and one of the decrees i was going to share earlier what i learned this is one of the most powerful statements ever in my entire life as i admitted how much i love love mm. And if everyone, I love love, I love love, I am love, I love love. And that's, I believe, the fastest way for every one of us to restore our purpose, our mission, our victory for ourselves, our loved ones, and our planet, period. Yes. And I talk a lot about this in um, my Science of Miracles book, which is remembering the frequency of love. And one of the things I talk about is love is my pre existing condition. Yes. This is our inheritance. We can't separate from love because love is in our very DNA. God, who is God? God is love and love is in our DNA. And this is my pre-existing condition. This is my condition. This is who I am. This is where I go. This I am God in action. I am love in action. And I just speak a collective love in action over the planet right now. And I know that things can shift even just with a handful of us. What's that? Shifted already. Shifted. Yes. Past tense. Yes. And I also really, really strongly invite you guys, encourage you guys, please share this. Please get this video out. Please get this interview out. You have no idea who really needs to hear this right now and uh, who this could actually upgrade, inspire, encourage, ignite into Christ consciousness into hope into love into belief into harmony in their own body and just put them on a new um a whole path to remembering and just you know this doesn't have to be crazy i mean it could be instant i've had so many people who have been on these kind of um, interviews and 
we've had miracles reported and I'm really believing miracles will be reported from this very interview. And let's all agree for that. I do. I am. Awesome. All right. Well, you guys share, um, continue to go to his page, to his website, um, you, his email. If you have any questions about when this new book is coming out and when it's going to be, um, I guess, edited somewhat and uh, ready. Um, but, in, but in the meantime, too, go to swiftfire.org, get on the newsletter so you know when we're doing things. Um, that's the best way to find me, um, find, you know, find me on all the social media stuff. But with the censoring going on, um, this is this is important to make sure and get on your on the newsletter. But love you guys. Much. There's so many people sending love. There's so many people really excited about uh, where we're going on the planet and uh, all this amazing that's my cousin what's up denise um all the information going out here today um let's just be a vessel of love everywhere we go today let's be very conscious of who we're talking to what we're saying what we're thinking what our beliefs are even when we're at the post office down the road whatever we're doing let's just radiate love today let's remember love awesome awesome love you all thank you dear love you talk soon thank you